This is Fox 25 News Father James Porter is a relief. Porter, who once admitted to molesting 100 children, died at Boston Medical Center last night. Fox 25's Glenn Jones has reaction. Porter, Gagan, Shanley. They are seen as critical chapters in a horrible history. And the death of James Porter after a long battle with cancer guarantees at least part of that history will never be repeated. Survivors feel that finally, without a doubt, James Porter will never again harm another child. It was a long illness and an expected death, ending a troubled life. Former priest James Porter, convicted child molester, and the first Boston area bombshell in a sex abuse scandal still rocking the Catholic Church. It was the first time that survivors felt that maybe their priest wasn't the only priest who was doing this sort of thing. Phil Saviano, a victim of abuse himself, started a support network for survivors back in 1993. Since then, he's chronicled almost every development and for the first time can sense the end is near. In the, 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 the long saga of clergy sexual abuse in the Boston Archdiocese, I mean, the names that come to mind are, are Porter and then Gagan and then Shanley. Both Fathers Gagan, who was murdered in prison, and Porter died before reaching freedom. Father Shanley, convicted this week, faces sentencing on Tuesday. For all intents and purposes now, the three most infamous priests in the long saga of priest abuse in the Boston Archdiocese are behind us. Porter, though, is slightly different. He admitted to molesting 28 children while a priest. The others denied it. And it's for that reason Porter's wife says, I have no question he is forgiven. In God's eyes, James Porter is a far better person than I. He is different from the others. And uh, whether that means that, that, that he's worthy of people cutting him a little bit of slack at this point, I don't know. Uh, I think it's a fair question, though. Last month, Porter was scheduled for a civil commitment hearing, which could have led to his release. It was postponed because the former priest was too sick to attend. James Porter was 70 years old. Glenn Jones, Fox 25 News.